Hello YouTube. Um, I've had a few messages recently from people asking about the overclock that I uh, showed on my new system which I posted a video of recently and saying I had the i7 3770K overclock to 4.6 GHz uh, and using the Asus P8Z77-V Pro motherboard. So uh, people have asked me you know how did I get to that overclock, uh, is it stable etc etc and what are my settings. So I thought instead of um, continually writing messages back and saying what it was. I'd go. I'd run through the whole setup, recent, uh, basically on the BIOS, and show you what I've done. So the first thing to say is all of the overclock is done in the BIOS. Um, it's not using the automatic AI tweaking um, that comes with this uh, the the BIOS on this motherboard, or using the software that you can run from within Windows. This is all just set manually. And uh, okay, so the first thing you notice is that when you boot up the uh, the machine and go into the BIOS, you get the easy mode screen, and you'll see some information about the board. Not really relevant. Uh, you want to go down to the bottom down here, which is advanced mode F7. You can look at your main information. You can see in this particular instance, I'm running a BIOS version of one two zero six. Uh, I think it's the latest version as of the time of me recording this video and you need to go to AI Tweaker okay so here we go, synchronizing target CPU turbo mode speed 4700 MHz, 4.7 GHz target RAM speed is 2133 MHz which is the RAM speed that I've obviously got of the RAM sticks in my machine uh, which are G-Skill Rip Jaws so AI overclock tuner is set to XMP of all the three options the XMP profile defines uh, my cache latencies, etc., for the RAM, which you can see here. Uh, the the clock BCLK um, uh, peg frequency is set to 100.0. ASUS multi-core enhancement is enabled. Turbo mode is set to ratio. Uh, turbo ratio, sorry, is set to manual. Uh, ratio synchronizing control is enabled, so that all the cores are running at the same and then the value of 47 is enabled into the first uh, uh, field in here and that will reset it for all of the other cores afterwards so internal PLL over voltage is set to auto, CPU bus speed is set to auto and memory frequency is again defined by my XMP profile EPU power saving mode is disabled OC tuner is ok uh, DRAM you can see again it's defined by the XMP profile CPU, um, so the CPU ratio is set to auto, speed step is enabled, turbo mode is enabled, and the rest are all set to auto. Uh, Digi Plus power control, uh, I've, the CPU current capability is, is maxed out at 140%, and CPU power thermal control is set at 140. I have been running this 24/7 uh, for a few days, and I was. It's been running playing games, etc., on this frequency now for the last month or so, and I've not had a problem. Um, you'll, pr if you look back at my channel on YouTube, you'll be able to see my build, and I have got some pretty extreme uh, cooling on the CPU, so to uh, to keep the temperatures down with uh, given this overclock on this chip. So anyway, uh, CPU voltage is set to manual mode. I've entered in a value of 1.275, so it fluctuates between 1.275 and 1.28, which is pretty, pretty much the limit, I think, um, of stability uh, for my particular chip and motherboard anyway. If I go below that, if I go down to 1.26, tend to get the odd blue screen here and there. Uh, DRAM voltage is 1.6, uh, which is obviously, again, the, the frequency, or the demand, the voltage demand of the RAM that I've got and everything else is set to auto CPU spread, sp CPU spread spectrum is auto and block recovery is set to auto so hopefully that's that's pretty much it guys so hopefully that gives you some idea as to what to expect uh, to, some some things to play around with for your own uh, CPU if you've got the Ivy Bridge uh, 3770K on this Asus P uh, sorry uh, P8Z77 motherboard, the pro version. I think it'll, these settings will probably work in the deluxe as well. And, uh, and that's it. And please rate and subscribe. Thank you.